Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Red Dirt Rods. Now today we're doing some more car audio fundamentals. And this is one that's super easy, but not a lot of people know how to do it. So what we're gonna do is show you how to test the actual real world output of your car audio system so that you can do important things like checking your SPL levels, checking your amplifier output, and knowing if your system is performing as it's supposed to. Make sure you check the description for a link to this form on our website so that you can do this for your project. So the main thing that you need is a digital multimeter and you need a sine wave test track. Now, I'm doing this setup on the bench with a Pioneer GMX 322 amplifier. This has a rated output of 35 watts at 4 ohms and 50 watts at 2 ohms. I am using, instead of a head unit, I am using my audio toolbox, which is this guy right here. I've had this for over 20 years. It is one of the best tools that I ever bought for car audio. It has a built-in signal generator, and that's what I'm using. You can do this in your vehicle with a test tone CD or a, you know a, an MP3 or FLAC or whatever you want to use for your particular system. On the bench, we're using a 12 volt battery and I've got it hooked up to a battery charger here so that we have consistent voltage. That's number one important thing. When you're doing this in your vehicle, you want the system set up as you normally have it and you want the engine running so that you have your maximum voltage going to your amplifier. So, I've got my test leads from my digital multimeter on uh, positive and negative on the amplifier. Now I have this amplifier bridged, so we're only, you know, we've got positive on one side, negative on the other, and then the multimeter is set at 200 AC volts, okay? If you have auto range, you're gonna wanna use the 200 range. So what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna turn on the sine wave. I've already got this all set up. Normally in your system, you would want your gains set and all of that. So as you can see, we've got 13.2 volts coming out of the amplifier. We're gonna take that, we're gonna plug it into our formula, which is AC volts times AC volts divided by impedance. Now the impedance is your ohm load. So if you had a single ohm, single four ohm subwoofer, that's what you're gonna plug in. So we have 13.2 times 13.2, which is 174.24. Then we're gonna divide that by four, cause that's our nominal uh, ohm load. And that gets us to 43.56. So right now, if I hooked up a four ohm speaker to this amplifier, it would be putting out 43.56 watts, which is a little bit better than the advertised specs. Now, if you hook this up to a two ohm load, which this amp is probably not two ohm stable. If you hook this up to a two ohm load, you would, your output, this stays the same. Your, your wattage, your AC volts does not change, but the output wattage does. And that will jump up to 87.12 watts. And that's how you check your real world output wattage of your amplifier. This works on any amp. You can do it highs and lows. Right now we are using a one kilohertz test tone. That's what you normally would use for mids and highs. If you're doing this on a subwoofer amp, then you would wanna use 50 hertz. That way you can keep your crossovers and any filters set up as is and you don't have to change anything. This is really simple. So now you can take that number that you get from your amplifier, specifically your subwoofer amplifier, and you can go over to our SPL video and you have your actual real world output of your amp and you can find out what the theoretical limit of your system is as far as SPL. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment. We'll see you next time. Let's make magic.